is even at the 147 limit and more with a three-inch reach advantage. And the IBF rules for this championship fight. Ten-point must system, three scoring judges, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Only the referee can stop the fight. The bell cannot save a fighter in any round. And if there's an accidental foul before the end of the sixth round, the fighters rule the technical draw. If it happens after the end of the sixth, they go to the cards. So here at the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas, closing in on our main event, the IBF Welterweight Championship, let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer of the classy, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue our action at this time, we ask for your attention for a very solemn moment as we pause to recognize the passing of one of the big names of boxing. Just last week, cancer claimed the life of one of the great promoters of our time, Dan Duba. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we ask for your silence as our timekeeper tolls 10 as we remember the Duva family and pay tribute to Dan Duva. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. May God rest his soul. Well, fans, as always on Showtime Championship Boxing, a donation will be made by Showtime Networks and Don King Productions to United Negro College Fund, the National Hispanic Scholarship Fund, and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. This donation will be made in the name of the Fighter of the Night, who will be selected by an expert panel of judges at the conclusion of tonight's action. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Grand Garden here at the world's largest hotel, casino, and theme park, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, for our featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Don King Productions and the MGM Grand. This bout coming your way is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, the President Robert Lee Sr., Supervisor Robert Lee Jr., along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Dr. James Mave. Commissioners Nat Carasali, Dr. Elias Ghanem, Luther Mack, and Crispin Rivera. The executive director, Mark Ratner. Our physicians at ringside, Dr. James Game, Dr. William Berliner, and Dr. Gino Signorino. Timekeepers at the bell also keeping count of the knockdowns, Jane Broadfoot and Mike Lasella. Introducing to you the judges scoring this title bout from ringside, Glenn Hamada, Dave Moretti, and Jerry Roth. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, it's showtime! With the IBF welterweight championship of the world scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing, our referee in charge working in this is 26th world championship bout, Mitch Halpern. Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with black trim, fighting out of and representing the fight town of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds, and his record stands at 37 wins, 9 losses, and 2 draws, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome tonight's challenger, making his third attempt at a world title, ranked the IBF number 8 welterweight contender, introducing Rockin' Rodney Moore. And his opponent across the ring on my left is the defending world champion fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing multi-color trunks and fighting out of Coupe Alto, Puerto Rico. 
He weighed in the same as his opponent at 147 pounds even. He is unbeaten in his campaign in the ring with 27 wins, no losses, 23 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is one of the young stars of boxing today, making the eighth defense of his title, introducing the undefeated Ivy Up welterweight champion of the world, Felix Pinto Trinidad. Once again, here's our referee in charge, Mitch Halpern, now to give instructions. All right, I've already gone the instructions in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Good luck to both of you. Any questions? All right, touch gloves. Let's go. The final instructions from referee Mitch Halpern here at the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas getting set for our main event, the IBF Waterway Championship. Felix Trinidad, this is the man most everybody came here to see. He says, I've always wanted to be a headliner. This is my time to shine. From Coupe Alto, Puerto Rico, the undefeated Felix Trinidad, 27-0 with 23 knockouts. He is the IBF Waterway Champion. And he'll be facing Rockin' Roddy Moore, ranked eighth in the IBF, 37-9-2 with 19 uh, KOs. And as for tonight, Trinidad told us he has good respect for Rodney Moore, good boxer, good defensive fighter, but that he really doesn't pay attention to his opponent's weakness. He just goes out and does his thing. He has been careless early in fights, but he is a tremendous puncher with either hand, good boxer, Sometimes a, a tough starter, but a very good finisher when he gets an opponent in trouble. You know, something that Rodney said then he wanted to address was that he was also the same height as Trinidad and that he wouldn't have a leverage disadvantage. But we'll see what he does with it now. Uh, let me tell you, look at him. Does it look like they're the same size to you? No, Trinidad that looks like half a head taller than he is. He, not only that, he looks like he's half a head wider. <laughs> yeah, right. And he just a, looks thicker and stronger. And half a mile faster. Seven first round knockouts for Felix Trinidad. A total of just 107 rounds in 27 fights. Trinidad in the multicolored trunks, more in the white. And Trinidad comes forward, a straight right. Trinidad's very patient in these opening rounds. Sometimes I think that's why he gets knocked down. He just kind of takes his time getting started. Once the action heats up in the second round, so he seems to have figured it out, and then he goes on a rampage. He said despite going down against Ovacar and Yuri Boy Compass, He's never been seriously hurt, but he did admit, and understandably so, the compass hit him the hardest. You can see Moore trying to sting him with that right hand a couple of times with the counter there again, another miss. He took his time coming out. He didn't jump in and run after him, you know, just wild or anything like that, but he is making sure he's, he's careful and he's being smart. He's not doing anything silly, but he's not landing either. Wild swing and a miss by Moore. But a nice counter by Trinidad. Trinidad makes you pay when you miss. He doesn't let you get by without any, without having a little reminder of the power that he's got. Moore told us this thing's not going 12 rounds. It's going to be a puncher's fight. He said, I can't tap, tap. I've got a punch with authority. I'm looking to sting him with my right hand. He thinks Trinidad is susceptible to the right hand. And he says, I'm taking this fight like it's my last. And also by firing up a couple of those name makers, he's made Trinidad be a little more wary of, you know, coming in himself. He's got to watch the big punches of the handmakers and not get slapped. But I think everybody tries to fight him this way. In the first round, they try to land something hard, and Trinidad's seen it all. I mean, this, and now at this stage of his career, he's, he's ready for no surprises. He's ready to just take them as they come. And you see the elusive defense of Trinidad as well. Great side-to-side -side movement. Trinidad hasn't even broken his sweat. I'm so sure that's good or bad. It is very warm in here. Soft punches there by Trinidad. Hazing around. Kind of find your punches. Kind of, where are you? Let, let me zero in punches. Yeah, he's looking for his range right now. Now trying to dig their body a little bit. You just saw a moment ago. But he's looking for his range. He's looking for his timing. But not really very accurate right now. End of round one will follow Felix into his corner. You hear the crowd reaction. Felix, his trainer is his dad, Felix Sr. Cuando, cuando él, cuando él 
para que pueda para que pueda aprovechar el momento está bien estamos bien he said don't get too far just make sure that you're within range so when he misses you make him pay you're doing all right just keep that distance just like you got they're very happy with what happened in the first round well they should be he wanted each estamos bien estamos bien la pelea mano alta okay let's go baby wake up get up there man you're in shape baby you come this far baby you're in shape okay all right got your passes with him okay your passes with him go to work Mentioned in round one uh, that uh, Trinidad is not uh, even coming close to perspiring here, and it may be because he came late with the uh, the uh, Morrison situation, having to uh, pull out of the uh, fight cut. Well, just a handful of punches landed in round number one. Not much happened. The crowd booing at the end of the round. Now Trinidad coming forward, but more able to uh, escape. So what Trinidad is going to probably try and do here now is establish that he's the stronger of the fighters, that he can move more when he wants to, and that'll put more immediately on his defense. Moore usually boxes early in fights. That's his history. Then he really gets into it. Early in his career, he ran a lot, but then he ran out of gas. Now he's more of a boxer puncher. He can mix it up and go to the body. But he's being extra, extra careful with the champion, Trinidad. He almost has a worried look on his face. His countenance is one of... Uh, Preoccupation. It's like I'm waiting for something big to land. What's it going to feel like? That's the feeling he gave us even in our talk with him yesterday. You know, you got the feeling it was going to be maybe a barn burner for two or three and then fold it up as you may. You know, whoever lands the big bombs. And obviously, Trinidad is expected to do that up, by everybody. Punch, so back, don't punch, he's fighting punch. basically a smart fight right now, but he's got to get off a little more. He's got to be more effective with the counters. Moore does have a good jab. We haven't seen much of it. He's gained stamina over the years. There's a wild swing and a miss again by Moore with the right hook. He went from a stick and move stylist to a knockout artist. Had just eight knockouts in 29 fights before 1990. Eight knockouts in 15 fights since. Halfway through the second round. So many great uh, fighters over the years come out of the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Where would you rank Rodney Moore? On the outskirts. Way on the outskirts. Camden? Way out there. Don't mention him with those animals that I knew from Philadelphia. Whoa, those are fighters. Fearful people come out of Philadelphia. And, and where they come out of in droves is Puerto Rico because they produce beautiful champions in Puerto Rico. You see Trinidad zeroing in on the body now, trying to work from both sides. Right hands around, left hooks underneath, trying to work the body to get the legs out from under Rodney Moore. Mitch Halpern instructing Felix Trinidad to keep the punches up. A little low there. Now, now Trinidad is getting the, the range. He just now has moved into where he, he feels like he can punch heavy. That was a nice thought by uh, Moore. Punched with a lot of evil intention just in the first real hard punch is thrown. Good execute against the cat-like quickness of Felix Trinidad. Trinidad's fighting smart. He's not wasting any energy. He's doing what he's got to do. And again, the crowd reacts. You know what I'm saying? You know what you've been working on all the time? Hold your head back. Hold down, yeah. Deep breath, deep breath. Hold down, push that. You understand what I'm saying? You put three together, you gave me two punches at a time, it's no good, okay? You make a miss, you gotta make him pay. He's right there when you make a miss. When you slip, you should come right with the double hook. Let's turn it right there, bam, bam, okay? Slow it up and make sure you connect. You're rushing your punches. You understand what I'm saying? Don't rush your punches, make sure they connect. All right? You gotta step into them sometime when you wanna hit them. You're too far away. When you get ready to punch, step right to them and fire and get the hell out of here, okay? Deep breath, come on, baby. Right there when you punch, you got the range down, now load up on the punches. Uh, basically what we were seeing right before then when he gets close enough and he looks like, well, now I can start to unload. And of course, that's what they told him in the corner. Now that you're there, start letting go. Round three, time called by Mitch Halford. There's some too much Vaseline some. above the nose, no, no. on the bridge of the nose. Go. Let me see, let me see, let me see. No, hey, come here, come here. I want to flatten it out on the nose, flatten it out. 
Flatten it out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Go, go. All right, here we go. Moore still being very cautious due to Trinidad's vaunted power. You heard Marvin Garris in the corner of Rock and Rodney Moore. Well, you try every trick that you can uh, think of against a guy like Felix Trinidad, and that includes a lot of Vaseline on the face. So be it. Try to get away with it. Yeah, it was on the bridge of the nose, which uh, Felix would have straightened out for him in about a two jabs. I mean, that would have been gone. Yeah, I'm not sure that was going to be a whole lot of help for any though. <laughs> you try anything here. The second punch that Felix let uh, fly that was a little low, got a warning from the referee, but that left hook is starting to find his place. Trinidad whacks with the left hook, but that was pretty well guarded by Rock and Rodney Moore. The chopping shot missing with the left is Trinidad. And that is missing those killer shots. He's trying too hard. He's loading, loading, up, yeah, loading he's up just a bit too much. Yeah, he's loading up on him. It's not like him. He's trying to end this thing in one punch. And, uh, See that? There it is That's again. not like him. It doesn't look good, and it's not like him. No, he's a worker. He likes to work. He likes to throw the combinations and start to add punches, two, three, four, five together. Now he's just looking for that big right hand. Let that right hand up. Oh, there's a good body shot by Felix Trinidad. That's money in the bank. That's that Chavez shot to the side. Trinidad has been showing a lot more maturity with each passing fight. Again, body shot, but a little low there for the tastes of Mitch Helper. And Rodney Moore complaining. Left hook there by Rodney Moore. He comes back. See, he's already complaining about the side. There it is again. Complaining to Mitch Halper and Rodney Moore, but the Trinidad goes right back to the body. You know, I'll tell you what, though, the belt is legal, so anything on the belt is borderline, but it's still legal. It's like the foul line, it's a fair ball. Keep it up, brother. Come on, keep it up. Now, Mitch Halper just telling Rodney Moore to keep the punches up. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you can hear it over our shoulder, the corners, so hit him back a little. Less than 30 seconds to go in the third round, and they're starting to get a little foul plagued here. Oh, straight right hand by Trinidad. That Watch actually landed finish. on the shoulder. Oh. He glanced right off his joint, hit him in the shoulder. Did it really? That one right on the face, though, by Trinidad. Final seconds, round three. Right hand, straight lead by Moore. Nice punch. But he didn't follow it up. Yeah. As the bell sounded. Let's see how hey, Rock, Rock, Rock and Roddy is. If he's doing that, what you gonna do? Huh? This is a real, I just is for real, okay? This is for real. And remember when you're ducking, the man's right there to be hit. He's just pulling out there. When he's ducking, he's trying to get That's when he's there to be hit. When you, when you make a miss, you gotta fire. Like we tell you in the gym, ain't no just moving and getting away. He's there for you to fire on. Okay. You put three punches together on him, man. Three Let's take a look at these body right shots that are having such a devastating effect on Moore. See, that's like Bobby said, right on the belt. He, he went up ahead, but he missed on top. Bobby, those things are landing right at the belt. Yeah. Now you watch and see the right hand, too. He's, he's throwing them both. He throws the left hook low. He throws the right hand. But he watched the right hand on his dead in the middle of the chin. That one was in the middle of the chin. That's a good thing. Uh, the Moore was going back with that punch. Had he been coming forward and got hit like that, he'd have been in our lap. Fred Jenkins really taken over there in the corner of Rodney Moore. And now it's round four. Once again, his trainer's telling him, you know, he's right there to hit. Hit him. Don't back up. Don't back up. Take, get your pound to play. Put yourself in a position to have a shot at winning. It's the only way to go. Well, right now, all he's doing is fighting a survival fight. It doesn't look like he's got a winning thought in his mind. Right now, it's, it's how can I survive this? For his third world title shot, his first is a welterweight. He's 37-9-2 and two with 19 knockouts. Right number eight by the IBF. Again, punches down low. Not too flagrant, though. I don't, I don't know. Now Moore going to the body with the left hook. A short, crisp punch. His blood for the left nostril of Moore. There's a low blow, but that was a low. Low blow. That was very low. Uh, that was low. Uh, that was un under the belt and on the cuff. There's blood on the nose of Rocking Robert. Oh, yeah. He's had uh, both nostrils, a little bit of blood. He's got connected 
several times with good straight right hands. Trinidad beginning to smell that the hunt is over. Yeah, those those pounds of power are now taking their toll on Rocky Rodney's body, and now right now is on his face too. Yeah, Rocky Rodney is getting rocked. The accumulative effect of Felix Trinidad's body punches like that one just there, that left hook to the ribs. Blood from the nose of Rock and Rodney Moore, who has to backpedal the on-rushing Trinidad. Now with some head fakes, Trinidad in total command. Oh, down to one knee is Moore. That was that shot. He's been complaining of the ribs. That rib uh, shot will take your legs out from under you. Not a pretty knockdown. Not pretty at all. The fans don't like it. He gets up on nine. He tells Mitch Halford he's all right. Bounces around, and here he comes again. You know, the only problem I have with fighters is stay down to nine. When you jump up, suppose you slip. That's it. You're done. Get up at six if you can. Take the rest in. Will he survive the final minute of round four? It's that side that's doing the damage. Those blows to the ribs on the side are just caving him in. There, that's it right there. There, that's it again. The more fighting back. It says, come on. He's tough, isn't he? Well, he wants got it. guts. Now, what happened, maybe he's doing what he's doing, too, is to try and give himself a little momentum, psych himself a little. Well, he has to because this way is a one-way beating. He might as well fight back and try to get lucky. Just protecting his ribs now from the shots of Felix Trinidad. There it is. Moore is punching back, but he's missing. Felix is too strong and basically he's too talented, but his strength is such a big factor that adds weight to pounds. And let me say, he's a borderline junior middleweight. Oh, and a soap here, and he goes down for the second time. Three, four, five, six, yeah, he would do well to stay seven, down because it's this eight, is a hopeless fight nine. for him. You're okay. He gets Look up on me. nine again. Second knockdown this round. You want to keep going? You keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, he's, he's wobbling. He's but he says, I want to keep going as the bell sounds. Come on. How are you? Ryan. Okay. Talk to me. Yeah. You know? Huh? How are you feeling? You want to continue? He kept hitting me on the fucking side, man. You want to continue? Here is the knockdown. First one, and it's a product of uh, that was a product of a punch to the side. You get a little better look at it. He just pushes Rodney back. He's using his strength and he digs right up underneath. And I think it was cumulative there. That wasn't the cleanest one he thrown. He did landed several before. And and the last one was, was three shots up. Yeah, they, they're stopping this fight. And uh, for a good reason, I, I think Rodney didn't want any more. He said so. And while we were watching the replays, they were discussing uh, stopping the uh, hostilities, which they did. Uh, it was no, no problem there. The doctor did a wise thing. Yes, it is all over. And Felix Trinidad retains his IBF welterweight championship. Two knockdowns in the fourth round. They came over, and they saw that uh, that was enough for Rock and Rodney Moore. Unable to continue after four rounds. Felix Trinidad with greetings is Rock and Rodney Moore. Moore now drops to 37, 10, and 2. And Felix Trinidad goes to 28 and 0 with 24 by way of knockout at the age of 23. Another defense of the title. Let's take a look at that last knockdown again. You know. Rodney Moore is being pushed and beaten up on his body. He's getting hurt by the power and the strength. And right here, you see this is, again, these aren't the most devastating of shots. That one's a little glancing, but he throws a nice left uppercut right in here. It glances off his temple. And, you know, it's cumulative effect. He's hitting him, he's hitting him, he's hitting him. And the, the shots hurt. Felix can punch. His eighth defense of the title. Let's take another look. Again, Rodney's going backwards. He's in a defensive semi-survival mode. A good clean left hook there that partially blocked that left right there you know it's deceiving but you get hit inside the temple like that odd things happen there you saw his legs were not very steady underneath him. Trinidad with an easy relaxed style but he can turn it up in a hurry as we see one more time that left hook was flush even though it was partially blocked by the glove the punches are going some of them are actually going through those gloves and there's damage and repercussions and concussion from it so Roddy just outgunned today so Trinidad pouring on the pressure in round number four, putting more on the canvas two times, more getting up both times on the count of nine. But then on the final, he 
wobbled to his corner, and that was it. Let's get the official time from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number four, a referee in charge, Mitch Halpern, stops the contest on advice of the corner. The winner by way of technical knockout, he is still undefeated and still the IBF welterweight champion of the world, Felix Pinto Trinidad.